What is up everybody, Monster Fanatic here. We're on the floor today. We're gonna be taking a look at a box of very, very rare trucks and a few of the last that I needed from back in the day these are some really rare hot wheels monster gym trucks i got them off whatnot it is an app where people live stream it's like a live auction basically a lot of die cast people on there and they're really nice and everything in this box i will tell you guys the price that i paid for all of this at the very end but guys just know the price i paid for all the trucks in this box it is so worth it guys and first off let's take a look at how big this box is guys i mean this is my hand i have pretty big hands and it take like four of my hands to fill up the very top i can fit four of my hands at the very top so it is a pretty big box and i can't wait to open this i've had this lying around for a few days trying to get a chance to make this video and get around to opening it for you guys because i did not want to open it off camera these are some of the trucks i've been waiting to get forever and ever and ever some of these trucks i have them packaged but not loose and i was you know i saw them they were getting auctioned off for very cheap and i was like you know what i'm gonna swipe i'm gonna bid it won't hurt now i have one loose and one carded so i'll tell you if i only got like three of those so i'll tell you which one those are uh, once we get through them but we're gonna slice it open and take a look at them really quickly and we are greeted with some good old newspaper we're gonna take it all out all right that is all they came in ziploc bags wrapped in some uh paper towels not bad not bad so if you guys want to know who the person who sold them all was they do a lot of vintage toys don't think he has any monster gym trucks left he ran them all that one night a couple hundred guys all old right on my alley new blood ripping run collectibles that is their whatnots he was a pretty cool dude i don't know what we should open first guys i guess we'll open this ziploc bag it looks like there's i think there's 12 trucks here guys i accidentally bid it on one and it's the only like truck that's above 2010 so we're gonna take these trucks out one at a time we're gonna see they're in each individual ziploc bags just in big ziploc bags so we open the big bag just to get a little bag of one truck let's see what this one is we're gonna jump right into it and here's the first one guys this is the small hub black stallion this is straight from oh, they sell the little stickers on it this was 74 he did two rounds of 100 he had like 216 trucks so yeah he had a lot of trust he had a busy night that night and i was there for the whole show because i needed to snag some of these for insane deals but here's the first small hub of the night after tonight i have completed my small hub collection and then when it comes to metal bases not counting variants because there are tons and a lot that i need i only need the chrome avenger guys that's literally i think i haven't gone on brian z Patton, so i can't really tell you for sure but from what comes to mind that is the only metal base that i need after the video that i'm making right now after we look at all these trucks we're gonna take the other one out this looks like a small hub as well it looks like we're getting all the small hubs out of the way and this looks like because I only need one more small hub. Um, there's four small hubs here. Three were for uh, my collection because I have three carded small hubs that I wanted to get loose versions of. So three of them are those. And then one is the final small hub I need. And I see yellow wheels. So this may be the one, but I could be wrong. Let's see. It uh, doesn't feel like it. Yep, here it is. Here's Thrasher. This is not the one that I needed. This is just one of them that I had carded. This was number 22. Good thing the stickers aren't too hard to peel off. We're going to take that off while we're here so I don't forget about it. Not too bad. Not too bad. So now I have one of these loose these are all in perfect condition i'm not going to test the wheels in this like the suspension because i'm all the way down here testing it guys but you know this one so far is perfect these are all in perfect condition it was adult owned he said previously this is a big hub guys that we are pulling out next i see the big hubs but it is old it is a metal base i think all these are metal bases except the one i accidentally got so take this out let's see what it is here it is I won't say how much all of this was right yet, but I will say I spent one hefty dollar on this one. And when I mean dollar, I mean genuinely I spent one dollar on this perfect condition Chevy body Lucas Oil equalizer. I had the Ford body, the uh, single cap Ford body. I didn't have this one and this one is a lot rarer than the other one. So now I have this. Me and my friend were watching this. He was so mad at me that I, I got this one because he needed it too, but I got it for a dollar guys. And there it is. This is just the truck variant that um, I did not have. They came out with two different body styles of this one back in the day. I think this was 2004 or 2005. Yeah, this was 2005. You can see the little code under right there. That's how you can tell. So that one, one of my more favorite ones that I got. So we're going to take the final one out of this uh, bag out and take a look at it. This is once again, another big hub. Let's get it open, guys. All right. I think I already saw it. Yes, here it is. I did not have this, guys. This is King Bling. This truck is sick, guys. Came out in about 2005. This is not a real truck. I'm, I'm, I'll worry about the stickers after the video, I guess. This one is sick, guys. Oh, my gosh. That's all I can say. Blue Hot Liz logo on the back. Metal base. Uh, silver chassis 
wheels black tires this thing is sick the crown on the side the shiny look all over the truck all just like jewelry kind of on the side i can't believe i finally have a king blend i can't believe it took, i can't believe it took so long painted grill and headlights um spent like i think three dollars on this one not too bad at all and then here is the big bag guys we have not came across my final small hub that i needed or the truck that i am definitely easily the most excited to get in this lot so um both of those lie in this final ba uh, bag right here so take the first one now i already see this this is the small hub so this one i can already tell by the color of the wheels this is just the last one that i needed a loose version of that i already have carded and i can tell you it's already pure adrenaline here it is i have this one carded now i have one loose so the last small hub that lies in here is the very last one that i needed in general other than the costco grave digger and a couple little variants of like little logos or names on the trucks not counting variants i have them all after this night here's the next one we're gonna open up the little baggie and take it out oh this is my favorite one guys i can already tell by the wheelies style body i can feel it through the paper towel i've not looked at it but here we go toa source rex for a hefty six dollars this is number nine I kind of wish he didn't put the stickers on the top, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. Perfect condition. The wheels roll perfectly. This could not be a better example. It's literally glistening in my camera right now. The blue flames on the hood. I can't believe I finally have one. Now I just need a carded version of this truck. This truck is beautiful. No flaws whatsoever. Again, this was adult owned in the previous collection that it was in. And there is the side. Oh my gosh, guys. I can't believe I have that. Definitely the one I was most excited to get in this lot. Let's take a look at the next one. Hold on. This may be the one that I accidentally bid it on that's like not even old. Ye no, it's not. This is an old one, guys. And this is one that I needed. Yep. This is one that I needed. American Dream. I have American dream but the one that i have the uh, body can come off it's the tilt off or whatever or the undercovers whatever uh where the body comes off this one the body does not come off i am trying to cross off some of those variants at the same time so there is this one i can't believe i still need the chrome avenger guys that's embarrassing i have toe source rex now i have the costco exclusive hot wheels i have all these trucks king bling holland heat uh all those but no chrome avenger all right here we go guys here's the next one this one has red wheels i don't which one could this one be i don't really remember to be honest but i do know there's a couple more heavy hitters in here oh i remember now this was one that i actually needed uh loose because i have one carded i bought one carded years ago and this one just looks like new all these look like they just came out of the box they were not in sun when they were displayed if they were even displayed or in, not in a box um or they they were just like taken out of the box not too long ago because man these are in perfect condition but there's that steel striker i'm so happy with this purchase guys we're gonna take a look at this one now oh this one feels lighter so maybe the plat yeah this is the one that i accidentally bid it on i did not mean to bid on this so if any of you guys need a samson here you go but i doubt it but you know if you guys need it, i really don't need this samson it is from year 2012 2012 so first edition samson right here guys i actually had the exact same one from the exact same year so there's samson that's my bad here we go another no this is a big hub here we go we only have one more small to go through we only have three more trucks guys this is the third to last one what can it be and here is probably my third second favorite that i got today uh, it's in the top three probably here it is wise guy <laughs> one of the last few metal bases i need this king bling toy source rex um really all i needed and um here is the last one of those three um on the uh, hulk body but the purple looks sick one that i definitely needed i can't believe i actually have this now it's like a suit and tie on the hood i've never actually looked at the details on this truck they're pretty interesting let me try to get this sticker off these are getting annoying and i haven't even taken them all off i'm saving some for like the end of the video to like cut the time down a little bit but we have like a guy in a cowboy hat and a suit on the very top right there some of these are just worth reviewing real quick guys it doesn't matter if they've been out for 20 years now this was like what 2005 so basically 20 years yeah 2005 so there's wise guy beautiful truck can't believe i have that i see that i'm looking at a small hub right there so we're gonna save that one for last and take a look at this one i don't know which one this one can be after wise guy and that i really don't remember what all i got so this one's a mystery oh and here's rambo okay yeah i did i forgot i got this one i got this one for two bucks guys so no one was bidding on it i have rambo this is a perfect condition of rambo and i know a lot of people want rambo a lot of people are looking for it so 
there aren't a lot on ebay so i'm probably gonna slap this up on my ebay this is the only one that i got for you guys i'm sorry but this will be on my ebay if you guys want to check it out it is green bean 7689 whenever i say check out my ebay some people don't look in the description for the link and just ask for my ebay so now you know um the wheels perfect guys i just wanted to make sure they roll right since i am going to be selling this one but rambo a perfect example of rambo once i get the sticker off of course now let's take a look at the very last small hub that i needed to complete my collection you may already be able to tell because it's a pretty distinct body they made three bus bodies they made the monster bus surf monster and expelled this is the very last small hub i needed for some odd reason it's not the rarest at all one of the more expensive ones for sure but um i feel like surf monster may be a little more up there this may be honestly the more common one the most common one out of the three because the monster bus i really don't see that much but i got a monster bus a while ago but i did not get expelled never got it just never came across it for some reason i guess it just happened to be this truck um that's the last one i needed but there you go guys that is what i have for you guys today an insane haul here and now that we have finished i will tell you now how much i spent it was 32 dollars or no it was 30 dollars exactly plus like maybe nine dollars shipping so under 40 dollars about 38 39 dollars for all of these insanely rare trucks that is not bad at all i bought them for basically two to three dollars a piece um so with that said hope you guys enjoyed tell me if you guys remember any of these trucks or have them still or still actively try to collect and get all of these old heavy hitters i'm sure i do and now i'll be looking for more of the variants that i didn't really care about before since i have nothing else old to collect since i got basically all the small hubs thanks for watching once again hope you guys enjoyed please like comment and of course subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you guys next time peace out